Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. This is a viewer request I'm going to do. I just had a request to show how the anti-reverse springs are set in a large Daiwa Silver Series reel. Uh, they're actually working on the 10,000. I don't have that reel, but I have a 4,000 and the spring setups are very much the same. You can tell from this reel, it's, uh, it's been a problem child. Somebody just brought it in. Uh, actually, it became uh, a donation to me because it didn't work and they weren't interested in having it tuned up. What a shame. It's one of the best reels around. Um, lots of corrosion on it and that, but it does have the springs set properly and uh, we will uh, uh, show you how those work. So uh, stay tuned. We will uh, tune this up at another time, but for now I just wanted to answer that customer's uh, customer, that viewer's uh, request. So we're going to start by taking the spool off and uh, again this is just uh, for the lack of a better term a parts reel at the moment uh, I suspect I will be able to restore this uh, going forward but I just want to uh, help this first help fill out they uh, started uh, working on the reel a spring shot loose and as a result of that the uh, uh, they lost their uh, concentration as well as their ability to define how those things are set. Well, the springs for the anti-reverse are under the rotor, and so we're, in order to do that, we're removing the side case to remove the uh, shaft here, and then we'll, uh, we'll show you where those things sit. So th the Silver Series is a nice series of reels. It's been around for some time. They were manufactured in Korea. Uh, they're no longer in production as they've moved. Metal cases, two ball bearings, great performer. The things, uh, if you were to line these up, you would line them up with the Penn Silver Series at the time. And I think I would vote Penn Silver Series over these pretty much any day. Uh, I'm sorry, I got that backwards, didn't I? These over the pens, they just, they have a second ball bearing in the reel. Uh, I just have never seen them fail. Even in this condition, the problem with this reel was that the bail didn't uh, didn't set, uh, reset, and of course this is a slam bail, so it's it's not any internal tripping mechanism. It's simply that the back of this hits the the red post and slams it shut. So when those things don't shut, you just usually have to look at the bail up top not being uh, lubricated enough to, to easily turn and so I took a little bit of WD-40 sprayed it down and fixed the problem uh, now I'm about fixing the rest of these problems but again this is for the purposes of this one it's simply to show you where those anti-reverse springs are located and how to reset them just so that uh, can resolve that problem now one of the things I always say in my videos, other than wear protective hand covering, which I'm doing here, is to take pictures along the way. Pull the schematics, take pictures. Uh, that way you know, as you're about to remove a piece or a part, where, the, uh, where that may come from at time for reassembling the reel. And uh, in this case, this reel is very clean given the uh, the overall exterior condition of it. So in order to pull this shaft here, we're going to go pull the screw off of the cross wind block. That will enable me to pull the shaft out. Here's the second ball bearing that's turning freely. So this one probably is just a matter of we're going to go into a uh, couple of cleaning agents and try and get this out. In order to pull the shaft, you can pull the the main gear after that we see that this reel has not been serviced in a long time. A lot of coagulated grease underneath that. I'm just putting all these parts in here for now. Uh, I'll come back and go repair that at, at a different stage. But I wanted to get up top here. In order to do that I had to remove that shit. <clears throat> okay, so once we get up top we want to remove the rotor. We're going to do that by taking that nut off the rotor. It's a 14 millimeter nut. And that's where the two springs are hiding for the anti-reverse. So the first one, we got to get a good shot of this top because they were asking. The first spring is located here. It sits on the, the toggle for the anti-reverse that moves this in and out. You can see it that way. 
it sneaks underneath. This is not a top-loaded spring. It comes in from underneath on the toggle. To do that, we're not going to do it right now, but you would pull the post. You would grab the, the screwdriver here and then push the post up. Load the spring underneath and then the spring is coiled sort of like a, a W or a U and sits into the hole on the, uh, on the frame here. That's the first one. Okay. And then the second one is a longer spring. It's a coil spring. We can see it here. It wraps to the back of the dog. It comes underneath this. There's a coil here. It comes out and sits under this tog or this little stud on the side plate. Okay. So in order to get that reset, typically what you want to do is pull this screw out. We'll pull that out now and give you a better look at it. The other one's fairly uncomplicated there. Let's go ahead and pull that screw. And like I said, most, that's probably what happened here, I would suspect. It just kind of jumped like that. Okay, so we can see the spring that controls the anti-reverse. It rides this way. Again, it's going to ride over the top of that. It's going to coil underneath. There's a little spacer here. And it's going to snap into the post. So it's going to kind of work like, like this. We're just going to put that over for a moment. Put a little washer over. And you can see that it rides on, there's a, um, uh, the, there's a little <laughs> stud or whatever you want to call that, uh, that it rides on. And I'm going to leave the, the tail side off of that for a moment. And I'm going to set it this way. Grab that screw. Line up all the pieces so that I can get that screw back in. And there's a, there's a lip on this screw towards the end there, so you're going to have to make sure that the dog is centered properly. So you may have to just toggle it a little bit to get it squared up, but eventually it will find its way to the hole. There we go. Okay, so we've hooked the spring around this anti-reverse dog here. We've got this set inside the toggle, and all we have to do is take that lip then and insert it over that stud, and now you've got a functioning anti-reverse. So I hope that's answered your question. I hope the setup is the same. I'm thinking it is. Almost all of these Daiwa Silver Series are like that. Uh, but if it's not, if you can send me a picture, uh, send it to secondchancetackle.com, 2ND. C H A N C E T A C K L E dot com. I'm sorry, second chance tackle at gmail dot com. Send me the picture and I'll see if I can identify if it's a different setup. But uh, this one was done on request again, and uh, you'll see I'll rebuild this reel. There's a lot of crud in here, but uh, hopefully, we're going to go put this one back into service real soon and uh, it'll go fishing for a long time for somebody that. Uh, likes to fish a good reel but doesn't really care too much about the cosmetics and we'll do the best we can to clean the cosmetics up on it as well so uh, thank you for your question hope that answers it to those of you that are viewing this that didn't have that question but were curious I hope that shows you how to take the reel apart we already did all of that um, how to get at the internal workings that's the other bearing here there's a bearing on the main gear and a bearing in here uh, and um, Hopefully that encourages you to, to work on this reel if it's one that's in your collection. So, again, thank you. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Uh, good luck fishing.